Hey everyone, this is Jedi Weller from Startup Wars, and I am here today to talk to you about search engine optimization, SEO. Now, if you've played Startup Wars and you've played the startup simulation, then you may have asked yourself, what is SEO? What is the stat and how do I use it? Well, SEO, search engine optimization, is essentially how easy it is for a search engine like Google or uh, Yahoo or uh, Bing to find your content on your website. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to show you an actual example of this live. And we're gonna see if we can teach you a little bit about SEO today. So I'll go over here and we have a blog post that we wrote for one of my other companies, OpenForge. And this blog post was about how to create a TikTok mobile application. Okay. And what we did was we went through and we just wrote essentially instructions for how people can create a TikTok app. Everyone knows the TikTok mobile app well, and, and OpenForge as a company. Uh, what they do is they build mobile apps. So we wrote up a big post here with a lot of different instructions. We provided examples, etc. Right. Now, this is great if we send it to someone. Right. If, if I actually go out and I send or email this link to an individual, well, then I know they're going to be able to read it and I know they're going to get it. But what happens if I want people to find this site organically and I want them to find this content organically? Well, I need to have what's called SEO. Right now, SEO allows the search engines. It's kind of like a language that allows the search engines to know what to look for within your content on your website. So if you're creating a new business, like let's say you're creating a t-shirt company, for instance, and you're looking to sell t-shirts online, you're gonna to need to create content to allow other people to find your t-shirts. And when you create that content, you are gonna to need to phrase it and write it in such a way that the search engines can easily find it. Now, I wouldn't suggest doing this yourself and relying solely on your own SEO skills. If you're just now getting into business and you're trying this for the first time, I'd recommend using a third party tool out there or a service. Now, if you are building your website with WordPress, which is what we've done here, you can, uh, you'll be able to actually see on WordPress that there is a SEO helper. It's a little plugin, right? Uh, called Yoast SEO Premium. And what Yoast SEO Premium does is it essentially looks at the content of your post. It's going to give you a little smiley face or maybe like a not so smiley face to tell you how your post did, right? So right now we haven't finished this post. So the SEO rating is not the best, right? And it tells you in a deep analysis what problems there are. Like for instance, uh, for our particular blog post, the key phrase and the key phrase in our case is TikTok, uh, does not appear in the first paragraph. So it recommends to make sure the topic is clear immediately. All right, so if I go back here to uh, the first paragraph, right, we'll see that many companies have realized that some of the best businesses take an existing model and hyper-focus on a specific niche, X, Y, Z, right? But I actually did not mention TikTok in here, right? Now, that is an issue because the search engine is going to look at that first paragraph and it's going to look to see how much that first paragraph match the title and how much do those two things match what a person searched for. So if I were to go to Google, I'm actually already at Google here, and I was to search for TikTok, right, then obviously the post that we wrote is not going to come up because it's, it doesn't have a high SEO rating, right? So what we would need to do is we need to go in here and we would need to update um, our content, the actual content that we've written to be better suited for the search engines uh, to find us, which means to have a better SEO score. Now, every different type of tool and technology out there that, that does web applications has some sort of plugin or method for helping you as a founder and as a user create a better you know, SEO content and get a better SEO score. Um, Yoast Premium is just one that I personally uh, like and enjoy. Uh, every different, you know, website has different things. So like, for instance, if you're going to create a Shopify website for your t-shirt company, there are, you know, plugins and there's uh, tools out there to allow you to analyze your Shopify content, but it's the same principle, right? You need to, you need to really pay attention to the content you create 
and you need to pay attention to how you create it, right? Which is SEO. And if you guys have any other questions about SEO, then I'd encourage you to just look it up, right? So SEO tutorials, right, for beginners. Um, there is a ton of content out here. You know, we are not trying to go full into how exactly, you know, to create the perfect blog post here. That's not the, that's not the intent of this. Really, what we want to do is we just wanted to show you what is SEO, how is it relevant, right? And what does it actually mean? So if you don't have a good SEO rating, then your user acquisition, right? You know, your, your efforts in order to acquire new users, uh, they're really going to suffer because you're not getting that organic search that you really need. And that's basically what SEO is, ladies and gentlemen. So with that said, thank you very much and stay tuned for the next one. And I hope you enjoy this Star Wars simulation.